Hi folks, welcome back to the horde. So just hiding from the snow. But uh, this is Winter Storm Stella, obviously. It's really uh, hooting and hollering out there. The power's managed to stay on so far, so all is good. Anyway, the topic of this video is an inverter welder. The horde just, I think I've upgraded my um, myself. I just picked this thing up. So, TIG welder, DC inverter, 200A starter package, and it came with 33 pounds of filler material. That's in this box here. I haven't, I haven't opened it up yet, so. There you go. Weighs a ton. Well, probably about 35 pounds with all the packing. So that's all the filler material I showed you. The welder will look at down below. Um, you can see the price uh, with shipping. It was uh, three and a quarter. I had a hundred dollars worth of uh, eBay cash, so it cost me two and a quarter out of out of my pocket it took about a week to get to me give or take a little bit so this is what it looks like right there's the display on off you turn your power up there the little um, I assume <laughs> because I don't know that the um, torch goes here and then uh, the ground clamp right it looks like it goes there the other part of the torch plugs in here and then this this is the DC welder this is atomic tools on the side of it and it is 220 came with that plug hopefully that plug plugs in without a bunch of trouble where my Lincoln is I thought one comment um, was particularly interesting when encountering difficulties see professional help in my case I decided it was cheaper to buy toys than to seek professional help. So, so much for seeing that. There's the caution, whatever it's trying to tell me. That's what the back of it looks like. Gas in. It did not come with a bottle or a regulator. Um, this is the manual that came with it. And here are the accessories. Bunch of cups, four cups, spare torch. I assume these are the, uh, the tungsten that goes inside there. And then here's all the, the spare parts. Let me tell you my rationale. For, for buying this, I know virtually nothing about TIG welding. I don't even know the right words to use. I don't know what those filler rods, what their content is. So when it's time for me to get filler rods, if I just ordered the welder, um, I wouldn't know what to ask for when I went into a welding store, right? At this case, I have the different kinds of filler rods, and I'll show you what kind they are. Um, there's the tungsten electrodes, and maybe a little further down, it tells me what the filler rods are. Um, with 30 pounds needed to weld aluminum, stainless steel, and low alloyed steel. <laughs> There's the description of the welder. 
itself. So ceramic cups, somewhere or another, I, I was telling me percentage of material in the fuller rods. I'm not seeing that here. You guys can read all the fancy words there. So I'm hoping that for out of my pocket, right, I told you it was three and a quarter minus the hundred in the uh, eBay um, coupon I had or whatever one wants to call it, a uh, gift card, eBay gift card. I'm hoping that um, I basically get a little better at welding. I have a Lincoln tombstone that theoretically has DC, um, but there seems to be something wrong with that part of it. Even on DC, I don't, I don't get very good penetration with the welds, and I have the feeling I'm only getting a single phase. I'm only getting that part. I'm not getting the bottom part of the curve. I have the feeling I have an open circuit in that welder somewhere. Um, because no matter what, on AC or DC, I only put down real big, thick caterpillars with it. Um, it, it, it never puts in a good penetrating weld. Even if you turn the power way up, it never puts in a good penetrating weld. So I'm thinking that's, that's what's wrong with that one. Then I have a typical um, tombstone, Lincoln tombstone downstairs. Um, that one puts down a good... A good arc weld. It's as old as the hills. It's probably as old as I am. Um, it's probably 50, 60 years old. Um, that one works good. Then I have the Harbor Freight, um, Flux Core, and y you know, for a hundred bucks, it does what it does. Then I have the um, the Lincoln Flux Core which actually puts down a really nice well. That one does a good job for me. And now I have um, this beast for regular DC welding with, um, with a rod. And now I have a TIG with it. And probably there's some additional accessories I can buy for it to do a few other things. But um, considering all, all that the Horde already has, um, I'm going with this. My experience has been, by the by, um, if you start off with kind of a crappy welder, like the, um, and I'm not trashing this, I've done a lot of welds with the Harbor Freight Flux Core, and I continue to do a bunch of welds with the Harbor Freight Freight Flux Core, but if, let me put it this way. If you start off welding with an, a non-optimum welder like the Harbor Freight or I used to have a little uh, Campbell Hosfeld actually it's probably still around the Horde somewhere that uh, was a 110 um, volt AC welder it was probably good for like 70 amps if you start off using those and you successfully do a weld as you upgrade yourself like when i went from the harbor freight flux core to the lincoln flux core um, i went from the harbor freight was ac flux core which had a tendency to spatter the welds all over the place and it didn't have as much power as the lincoln the Lincoln is DC, which helps the weld settle down, s settle in better, less splatter, less throwing uh, material all over the place. And uh, the Lincoln also had a little more power. Suddenly, you're welding like, look at me, I could weld anything. Even when it came to AC arc welding, I got the Lincoln that has that's missing the phase first, and I really worked at that to get a decent weld out of it. And suddenly, I took a welding class, and it was like, wow, look at me, I'm a welding genius in this welding class. And then I got the old Lincoln that was behaving properly, the old Lincoln buzz box um, that was actually working properly. And suddenly, even at home, I'm like a welding genius. So if you start off with a difficult welder, 
that doesn't weld very well as you work your way up you're like thinking boy look at me i got all this technique man i'm like the coolest guy in the world i can weld you, you know a buick to a refrigerator and not have an issue um the thing is you learned how to weld and now that you have good equipment now you can weld well um so this is my first step into a tig welder um and once again for two and a quarter i think it was worth that step um, especially considering once again it came with this monster box load of um, rods um, filler material um, so i'm i'm hoping this this ups my game a little bit um, makes makes it a little better it'll also be nice having more of a um, portable uh, DC arc welder this thing doesn't doesn't weigh a lot I mean right so I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping it, it works out well um, if not I got, depending on how you do the math on it, I got two and a quarter or three and a quarter into it. And for that, for me to take a welding class at the local BOCES, it would cost me all of that, if not more. And I got to do it on their schedule plus commute to the class. I'm sure having my own little welder to play with um, will help me along. And now I got to go watch a bunch of welding videos. Some of you guys are, are like um, professionals at this. And right off the bat, I'm thinking Texas Viking. Um, you weld like for a living, like you do this for real. Um, so uh, it says I should seek professional help. And seeing as I'm not seeing a psychologist, I'll consider Texas Viking my, uh, my expert. Musty One also um, does quite a bit of welding. Um, so when I, um, when I visit with him, I think, I think the dude does quite a bit of welding. Um, Rusty, um, you're, you're ahead of me in, in welding too, but I don't, I don't think you have a, a TIG available. If you have, I, I haven't seen it. Um, William Statton, my buddy Bill, you have... Um, I think, I think you have a BuzzBox Lincoln and I think you have a Campbell Hossfeld and I think, I think just those two. I don't think you're running flux core. Um, once again, guys, I'm going from memory. Um, and you guys all know how good my memory is. Anyway, um... Any thoughts, please share them with me. Uh, if this is like the worst welder in the world, like as soon as I plug it in, it's going to, you know, knock down my breaker box, explode in a puff of smoke and all that other stuff, let me know. <laughs> that way I can return it. Um, but I, I'd, really, I'd really like to be up in my game. And by showing you guys this... Um, Hopefully some of you might see it and say, wow, I too have, you know, $100 worth of eBay cash to spend or more. Maybe you have the th entire three and a quarter in eBay cash. And then you could, um, you could give it a try. Um, this guy has sold a lot of stuff and he's got really good feedback. So I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping it was a good deal. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching, and commenting, and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.